So here's the map of the game. If you have played any of Wallace's train games, you will be familiar with the cube delivery system that he has. Uh, so what these colored lines represent is where you can lay track, and this would represent the cost of the track that you are laying. These represent goods that you are trying to deliver to another city. And so in delivering these cubes to their appropriate colored city, uh, you will be making money, which is the goal of the game. Each person gets a number of track pieces depending on the player count. So this is set up for six player games. So each person gets eight track lays. You have a turn order cards that are bid for, uh, but at the start they're randomly distributed pretty much. And then you get $10 uh, of income that you can use to auction or a bid, I mean, for things or uh, to pay your cost to lay track. There are bonds you can take out to get money. So for each bond you take, you get $6. So if I were to choose to take one bond, I would get $6. And then at the end of the round, I would have to pay $1 interest on that bond. So if I took three, I would get $18 and have to pay $3 interest on that bond. There's the bank of money. You have special um, action cards that you can get. You can either choose to take these during a certain phase or if you're in last place, you get to take one. You have the um, track colors where you can lay down your tokens, your track. Uh, you bid for these. And you have the cube delivery system where it tells you randomly by drawing a card where you will be placing the goods that are to be delivered. Uh, and in this six-player version, it starts with one of them face up. And so that is pretty much the setup. Down here you have your uh, player tokens, and this is the income track that you're going to be moving around. It goes around the outside of the board, and this is going to determine each round how much money you're going to get added to your income. And the goal of the game is to have the most money at the end. So the way this is going to work in a six-player game, you would draw four of these uh, merchandise cards, and you would place cubes uh, in those cities. So there are going to be uh, cubes placed in those three cities, those three cities, those three cities, and those three cities. And those cubes are randomly drawn out of the bag, which I'll do right now. So this is what the board would look like after the cubes were drawn. So now there are more goods delivery cubes out here. And so what you would be doing is trying to see what distances you can run. Uh, so you can see these are obviously going to be more expensive to get the blue out of this city to another blue city like here, right? That link would cost you $15 to make that connection. And so um, obviously the closer ones are going to be less. And then since you have less money at the beginning of the game, you might be looking for the uh, cheaper routes, but maybe uh, you have a long strategy or something. Uh, also depends on the options of the track cards. So after the cubes uh, are laid out as such, you're going to take track cards and you're going to draw a number of sets per player. Um, so in a six player game, you take two cards and that is going to become a set that can be bid on. And you're going to do this six times. If you play with, I think four or less, you do sets of three. So here are the results that we have for the cards. So um, if you bid and you won these cards here, you would be able to build track on links that are purple or green or the circle and the uh, octagon. So for example, purple build stations are up here in the kind of northeastern part of the map, and the green ones are down here in the southeastern part of the map, and they are split apart by the pink. So if you bid and won these two cards, you would not have a link that connects those two colors. And I see, but if you did get the purple, you could build at least build a link here, and you could deliver this purple uh, cube to this purple city and this blue cube to this blue city, and that would uh, increase your income by two. Likewise, uh, with this one, you have green and the blue, I guess. Uh, so green, again, is down here, and then blue is the one next to it. Uh, but I don't think there you would need two green and a blue for this. You would need same there. So if you win these colors, you're not going to really be able to move anything, but you could start setting up your network for the future. Here again, purple and... Um, that bluish color. So again, if you got this one, you could do the purple here, and then the bluish one is again down at the bottom, so you're not going to be able to connect those, so that would be setting up for the future. Purple and green are, again, purple's up here, green is down here, those colors do not connect. 
Uh, but again, you could fight for this purple spot there. Pink and green, there's two sets of those. Uh, so pink is in this middle and green is right below it. So you could do a pink and green here to transport this purple up there. Uh, but I don't think there's any other. So there's really, in this round of six options, there's really only two connections that you're going to be able to make money off of. That's if you get the cards to make this connection or you make this connection. Otherwise, you're setting up locations you think might be good for the future. And again, you're going to have to pay the cost for that. So... For example, what would it then happen is there's going to be an auction. What you're auctioning for is these turn order cards. And the player who gets the first turn order card is going to get first selection of which set of cards that that player wants. Then after each player gets their set of cards, the player with the first player um, card is going to get to move goods first. So if I bid money and I go, okay, well, here's an opportunity for... $2, $2 in income, moving the purple up here and the blue down here. That's going to cost me $5 to lay that track. I only have 10. I'm going to get into a bidding war potentially with somebody um, on that. So do I want to take out loans? And that's something you would decide at this point if you want to take out any loans. Remember, you get $6 for each loan. But then you have to remember you can't spend all your money because at the end of the round, you're going to have to pay interest on any loan that you have. If you can't pay back your loan, you pay all your money, you still owe debt, then you're gonna move backwards uh, on the track until you just can't go back any further. Uh, so that's what's gonna happen first, it's gonna be that bidding war. Uh, like I said, then get the cards, then you're going to um, move cubes. Now, if you don't wanna move cubes, you lay your track and you can't move cubes, then instead of a move, for each move you don't take and you only get two moves per, um, action, you can instead take one of these action cards. And of course, this is a German copy, so the words are in German, but there are um, English translations available, and these are different types of things that you can do. So uh, like it says here, fast locomotive, transport a merchandise cube up to seven track section instead of six. So you are limited to only going over six links. This would allow you to go over seven. Uh, everything new, you may sort the track cards display before the Turn order auction. Uh, more freight. If you are the next player to transport merchandise cubes, draw a merchandise cube from the bag and put it in the city of your choice. So it kind of gives you uh, other options of what you can do. Uh, so then, like I said, you're going to um, get your cards, transport your goods, and then that will determine your income. So if somebody didn't make two transports, and let's say it was the purple person, they would go up two spots on the income track, they would get $2, that would be added to their bank, uh, they would pay their debt on the card, uh, on their bonds. And then anybody who's in last place, which, uh, you know, since there's really only a couple of deliveries in this first round, it would probably look like this at the end, and there'd probably be four people sitting back here in last place, uh, those people each get a card. So in this first round, these four people probably weren't going to be able to move any goods, which would have gotten them two cards each. And then being in tied for last place is going to get them four. So they're each going to have probably three cards at the end of this round. So that would be 12 cards. So the stack, one, two, three, and 11, 12. That leaves two cards left in the stack. If the stack ever runs out, then you can take a card from somebody else, All right? So it's kind of like you use it or you potentially could lose it. Uh, but you can play as many of those as you want in a round. And then you're gonna just redo the whole thing all over again. You're going to get the bag, draw out some new cubes uh, that are gonna be matching the cities that you are on. When the deck is depleted, the track deck is depleted, that'll signal the last round of the game. Uh, so again, you're going to put your merchant cubes out there. You're going to reveal the new track building options that are available to you. You're going to take out any loans that you want. You're going to bid for turn order for the cards. Then you are going to select the track you want. Then you're going to build that track. Then you're going to make any runs that you want. That will increase your income on the track. On the other thing about the bidding, it's like uh, Age of Steam, if you played that. Uh, so the person who bid the or is the first to drop out of bidding gets all of their money back if they bid anything. The top two bids pay their entire bid for the top, for the player one and player two cards. Everybody else pays half their bid rounded up. So if this person ended up bidding $10 
or somebody bid $10 for that and somebody bid $8 for that, they would both pay their $18 to the bank you know, together. Uh, and then let's say these three people here, they would pay half their bids, whoever bid for those turn orders, and whoever dropped out first of the bidding would get this card for free. And that's kind of how it works.